Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving a Google Chrome error you're experiencing on your computer. The 0xc000005 error that you are encountering when trying to launch Google Chrome. Since the application failed to initialize properly, click OK to terminate the program. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So if you have the option to, I would probably just reinstall Google Chrome. Um, if you can do that, I would probably just recommend trying that first. If that isn't really an option, you want to try something a little bit different first, maybe you want to back anything up, which should automatically be backed up anyway, but if you just want to kind of work around it and then maybe push off reinstalling it down the road, Something else we can try here too would be to right click on whatever your Google Chrome icon is that you normally open up Chrome with. Just go ahead and right click on it. And then right click on the item so you see it right click on Google Chrome. Right click on Google Chrome again and then I'm going to select where it says properties. I'm going to select the shortcut tab and at the end of the chrome.exe there's a quotation mark going to add a space and I'm going to have this up in bigger letters on the screen here as well so you're going to do a space after the quotation mark in the target field you're going to add a minus sign no minus sign sandbox all one word here so minus sign no minus sign sandbox there's a space in between the quotation mark and the minus sign no you see it exactly how it appears on my screen here and once you're done with that select apply and okay and then when you ever open up Google Chrome using that same shortcut, it should open it up. Generally speaking, this is probably not a very good long-term solution, but if you're just looking to get back into Google Chrome before you reinstall it, just to see what kind of extensions you had, if you'd resynced up properly, I'd recommend trying that. You can use this, you know, as a normal browser as well, but generally speaking, I would probably would not do that. And then once you've located whatever you needed to, you could just close out of here. And I'm going to actually reinstall Chrome. So if you're unsure how to do that, just type in control panel, best match, come back with the control panel here. Go ahead and open that up. Set view by to large icons, and then select programs and features. Select Google Chrome from this list, and then select uninstall. Select yes. And I'm going to go ahead and select on install. And once it's unsold, you should go ahead and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. It has been uninstalled. And something else, now we're going to go ahead and reinstall it. Open up a web browser of your choice. And you're just going to search for Google Chrome. And go ahead and download that. Should be one of the best results on the page. And go ahead and select Download Chrome. Once it's on downloading, go ahead and open up the setup file. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. You can close out of the web browser too at this point. And there you go, guys. Chrome has been reinstalled on our computer. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.